We have a VIP guest here for our Bachelor Blowout. Give it up for the Bachelor, Nick Vile. Come on out, Nick. You may notice there are a couple extra seats. Yeah, I keep we're not doing a dating game. We feel like you have your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some special guests okay. coming out in just a moment. Do you have any idea? Uh, not really. Okay. I mean, I have some guesses, but who knows? All I'm right, all right. Surprises. I, don't I know, know you poor thing. You look like you. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm already He's sweating. More I know. Add more all stress right. to you. But midway through the through the season, we're watching you choose choose love. It, it's it's been a lot. To take in, so we want to know uh, how has it been for you now that you you, you lived it, but now you're watching it back. What watching is that like? Um, it definitely brings you back, right? It's always it's always weird watching yourself on TV. It's even weirder to watch yourself go through emotional experiences. So um, you, you never really get used to it, mm -hmm. even though I've done it a few times. Um, <laughs> like four. Yeah, um, but it's weird. Yeah. 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 Weird is it? Is it? Are you like, that's not how I remember it? No, I mean, I, for the most part, I mean, there's a lot you just don't get to see just because of time constraints. Right. But and, they're, and, they're, and the girls are talking without you. They're being interviewed. So yeah, you're probably but, learning a lot. Yes and no. Uh, there's always a couple uh, lines that are always kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's not like, oh, my God, I didn't know who this person was. All right. Um, why is there someone who? No, no, <laughs> you really got used to us. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we catch everybody up with what happened last okay. night? Because it was a lot. Mm -hmm. It was one of the most dramatic episodes in Bachelor history. I just feel like it might be time and, and best time to, to say goodbye. Nick sending home not one. I wish nothing but the best for you. Not two. Well, I'm sorry, and, and I hope I'm not screwing this all up. But three women with no warning and no rose ceremony. Jasmine melting down on the group date. Whitney left behind on the two-on-one. And Danielle L. sent home after admitting she's falling in love. All before the rose ceremony where three joking. more women were sent home. I just wanted to be honest and I wanted to be real with you guys. An emotional roller coaster for The Bachelor himself. Uh, and losing hope of finding the one. You know, right now I just feel like terrified that's not going to happen. So, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I need to get out of here. <laughs> He's gone. No. Bachelor Nation shocked by Nick's choices. No one more surprised than these fans. I don't think I've ever seen an episode where literally every single girl goes to a separate part of the island to cry. Nick flying into New York City Monday night and surprising one of the most intense watch parties in the city. What up, guys? And our own Bachelor superfan Ginger was there for the big moment. Can you explain why everyone cried at the volleyball game? <laughs> I mean, you kind of saw it a little bit. At that point, um... the shots were fired. <laughs> Posing for this picture with Bachelor Nation. And now Nick here live in Times Square for a surprise of his own. And, you know, as, as we can see, this show, it really is an emotional roller coaster for yeah. you. We see tears, we see all these things. You have 30 women, you have to be vulnerable to those 30, but you're also vulnerable to America. Mm -hmm. So is that intimidating at all? Um, yes and no. I mean, the idea of it, like when you talk about it, it's like, wow, that's... <laughs> um, you just block it But out. in the moment, you really, you really don't think about it, right? You really are trying to focus on the women in front of you, you're trying to focus on those relationships, and the last thing you're thinking about is someone's going to watch this, mm -hmm. um, which I think is important because if you're doing that, it's hard to really be yourself. It's mm -hmm. really hard to um, make decisions that really could potentially affect, affect the rest of your life. So the last thing you really need to be thinking about is, is stuff like that. Yeah. Well, it's got to be tough to psych yourself up for all of those dates. But we we have discovered some video of we how we believe that you that you do just that. Can we can we roll that video? Yeah, <laughs> that actually is before a date. <laughs> wow. Does anyone else not love Cher? No. <laughs>
hundred percent. You're why you're open, man. You're open to the world. Yeah. And then, you know, you surprised the lady that at last night's um, watch party. Uh, so we got a little surprise for you too, my okay. friend. That makes All me right. Nervous. First up. Okay. We first met this person in 2003, and now he's living happily ever after with three kids. Do you see anyone in the audience that sounds like this? Am I supposed to look now? Yeah. <laughs> Who sounds like that? Like that would be them three kids. Here. Oh, is that Mr. Andrew yes, Firestone? Yes, it is. See the three bachelors. Andrew Firestone. Come on up, Andrew. I thought it was like so good. Oh, it's so great. Long time. Hi. Good to see you. We're not done yet. Not a surprise. Bachelor number two. You look a little more relieved that it's the guys it coming good. up here. You look a little fine. more relieved. Yeah. Right, this one fell in love with a lovely lady named Molly, oh and they even got married on TV. Any guesses? Is, is he also? He's in the audience. He's in the audience. Wait, this way. I'm gonna help you. Oh, Season, Jason! Jason! Season 13, <laughs> best of Jason Mitnick. And finally, <laughs> your hearts were broken by the same Bachelorette, but now with Lauren, he's part of a new duet. Oh, okay. Ben. Ben, yes. come on out, Ben Hagen. Come on. Thanks for coming, man. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thanks for being here. Hi, Ben. How's it going? So, I, so Bachelor Nation, very, very happy to see all of you all here. And we know that you guys understand, obviously, what Nick is going through better than any of us. What is harder, what was harder for you guys, doing it or, what, or reliving it on TV? Reliving it on TV. I mean, as embarrassing it is, you know, uh, to see yourself on TV, if I do a voicemail and it sounds awkward, yeah. that's bad enough. Imagine watching yourself kiss on TV and have your mom watch it. So, yeah. definitely oh, yeah. harder about watching, watching Nick make out with all these girls on TV. <laughs> <laughs> that's more awkward for me. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. And Ben? I, I think definitely watching it back. And, and with me, I had Lauren by my side. And so then she's having to watch it back. And then I'm getting phone calls like, you did this? I'm like, explaining to do. <laughs> no, I never did that. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Um, all right, so we have a lightning round uh, game for you guys. Yes. It is, um, we have paddles for you. They're right next to your seat. Oh, yeah. There you go. Grab your paddle. And um, it's called... It's, well, if you've never done something, you have to answer no way, Rose. If you have, the other way, the other side says yes, Bay. So the game is yes, Bay, or no Rose. way, Rose. No way, Rose. I got that handle. All right, so here we go. Lightning round. Have you ever sang to a date? We know you like to sing. Have, have you it, ever sang to a date? Have you date? ever sang to a date? Yes, Bay, or no way, Rose. Sure, I guess. Yes, All right, bae. done. How did the date go after the singing? Not sing great. I'm no. I was single before I became The Bachelor. So. <laughs> All right. And uh, here we go. Have you ever injured yourself while trying to impress a girl? My pride? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a, a boating yeah. act. Yeah. Yeah. I spent, I spent three months doing that. You, you, in, you injured your pride? Injured my pride, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you guys didn't see my season. I was, uh, my pride was stepped on. I actually on. remember your season yeah. very, very well. Yeah. It was, that was a good one. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So when I was in here earlier, someone's like, oh, look, there's Ben's dad. I'm like, no, wait, Ben's dad's here. They thought that I was like a related uncle or something like that. So. Have you ever given a girl a fake number? Yes, Bay, or no way, Rose? No way, Rose. No look at who's thinking. No. And they wonder why he's been on four times. I don't. <laughs> that was mean. Oh, no. No. Um, I don't. You. I don't think I have. I yeah. believe. I'm a I pretty direct it's, guy. I think so, it's happening like, yeah. for you this time. So. I'm feeling a lot of positive love energy. Thank you. Do you guys feel like it's going to happen for? He's glowing. Yeah, yeah, he's glowing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here's good juju. Here's something for all of you. Have you ever been yelled at by Chris Harrison? <laughs> can I hold up? An, can I hold up a thing too? You, you, Chris yelled yeah, at you yeah. too. Of course. Oh, I haven't gone for Chris. Yeah. Yeah. What about in in the moment? When he's playing the boss, oh, he, he kind of stays behind the scenes. Yeah. He gives a lot of advice, but he won't—he won't like get up in your grill if you're doing something wrong. He got up in my grill before. Really? Oh yeah. He should have stayed. When I didn't kiss Molly, when he wanted me to kiss Molly, actually. Well, answer this yeah. question: Do you, any of you guys have any quick advice for how to make how to make it last? You've been married and kids. I have. And um, I would say figure out somebody that you can share a bathroom with. Okay. That's the most important thing. The rest of your life, you'll be sharing a bathroom with somebody. Make sure you find that That's person. That's beautiful, Andrew. That's actually really helpful. Jason, <laughs> specific. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see. I don't know. Good question. 
for me, it was kind of getting out of the spotlight and going to Seattle. You know, the most most famous person in Seattle is our weatherman. So, like, <laughs> nobody's following people around. Yeah, that's nice. And Yeah, ben? I mean, I don't, I don't know if you've – I'm watching the season. I don't know if you chose anybody or not. But if you did, just be really honest as, as soon as possible because at that. some level they're going to be watching <laughs> the back. So that's how you make things work afterwards. All right. That's really great advice from Thank you. More cheers. More cheers. And we're up, well, okay. for you. And we're going to be honest. We're really honestly appreciative of you guys all being here today. Thanks Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, it's really and good to see you. And you can see a new episode of The Bachelor Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC. <laughs>